Okay, Lady Ada. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I'm so thankful we're here, and I'm so thankful there's folks that are going to show their projects tonight. What is this? This is a very wonderful Thanksgiving Eve uh, show and tell. It's me, Lady Ada, and with me is Mr. Lady Ada. We're broadcasting live from the very quiet Adafruit headquarters manufacturing compound. We do all the testing, manufacturing, coding, shipping, electronics that you know and love. Everybody except for us is home or on their way home. And, uh, but we're going to hold out here tonight and see what people from around the world are making and crafting and sharing. So come on by. we got plenty of room in the chat. Let's start off with some Adafruit peeps. Noe and Pedro, what's going on in your cozy home? <laughs> Hello. Yeah, it's feeling cozy here as the weather is, well, it is what it is. <laughs> it's hot again. Yeah, Pedro's over yeah. there. He's hiding them back there. Doesn't yeah. want to walk the tree. But hey, we have some 3D printed ornaments that we thought we'd show you folks. Uh, let's look at the first one over here. So this is a little three printed doodad that we made for the blue fruit and the TFT gizmo. Let's right, see if we can see those Adabot. bot. Yay. What this one is because it's uh, the blue fruit circuit playground. We got our, whoa, there it is. We got our iOS um, app. The, That's the dog. And there's our little pooch. There he is with his festive uh, wear on. So I'm gonna go ahead and send it. And lightning fast, there is our mm -hmm. now on our new ornament. Nice cyber uh, ornament. So let's put that one back and look at the second one. Here's one for the TFT E ink. You can oh, see that's the, nice. the Blanca there. Nice Looks artwork. Festive. Thank you. Yeah, I put a little Santa hat on it and some, some snowflakes. This one's just got the regular Circuit Playground Express because I'm not doing any Bluetooth stuff, but that works pretty well using uh, Circuit Python uh, to display bitmaps. So there we go. Let's look at one last, well, maybe it's the last one. I'm going to keep pulling them off the tree here. Um, this one is kind of like your standard, right? But we have a little built-in slide switch. And this one also has blue fruit. So oh. this the fancy LED animations. And what's cool about this is we can unscrew the little cover here, and then you can get access to the actual buttons and stuff if you want. And what's cool about that is we can, I want to show this one off. Yeah, you can add, you little, can add artwork. little artworks, like maybe photos. This is little baby Declan. There's a little 3D scan of him inside his mama. Nice. There he is. He's <laughs> ready. Lithopane, lithopane type effect. Cool. It's uh, just running a regular Circuit Playground Express, I believe. But it's cool. Nice. It's got a built-in slide switch we can uh, turn on and off. There it is. All that. right. And then this guy's coming in this next week? coming next week. Probably yeah. uh, maybe Friday. Yeah. We're going to try. Perfect timing for people decorating Friday. their trees in the next few weeks. Yeah, I also thought it'd be kind of like a simple one too. Well, maybe it's not so simple, but there's a little 3D printed one that's all 3D printed mm -hmm. no electronics, but it's got like this little spinny thing on top. And you can pop Yay. it out. Can you pop it out? I guess yeah, you can pop it out. Put <laughs> other ones like this little Adafruit logo here. Maybe I can click it in there and spin that one up there. Fidget spinner for 20 I know. This is the, <laughs> the fidget the spinner. New, hot, new hotness. There, yeah. there you go. All right, well, thank you, Aaron Pedro, and happy holidays to you and your family. Yeah, Excellent. you too. We're thankful for y'alls. Yeah. yeah. And uh, do you want to see the? Oh okay. yeah. We're still working on the goggles that will come out the next week. There. Yeah. 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 Cool. These are looking cool. good. We're working on the guide, and we might have a photo shoot or something soon for folks who don't know what this is. This is yeah. from Sister Night. Um, costume owl glasses. owl glasses from Watchmen, which is uh, got it. I think it's, it's the best, best comic show ever. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Cool. All right, folks. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. All right, All next, right, next up, up. Well, I'm gonna, Scott, Scott's <laughs> yeah. pie. Yeah. Oh, my pie's upside down. But you can read my tweets. That's what it looks like before. I eat it. Okay. Okay. You got a pie. I, is that an apple pie? It is an apple pie. I made it earlier. This is the third year in a row that I brought it uh, to my family's Thanksgiving. Um. So I thought I would be the, as far as I know, I'm the first person to show a pie on show and tell. Um, it will not last long enough to get a sticker on it, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yeah, I wanted to show that off. It's been cooling up here, sitting next to me anyway, because then I can keep an eye on the cats so they don't eat it before uh, we're going to eat it. Uh, but the other thing I wanted is if people want to like, either somebody internal can slack at me or tweet at me. Uh, what I have here is uh, Circuit Playground Blue Fruit with the e-paper gizmo on it. And it's connected to my phone and it's listening to all the notifications uh, from Apple. 
So if like, everything would it be good to tweet to you? Yeah, tweet at me. Anything that will like cause something on my phone to pop up. Uh, but Apple has a service that the OS provides that transmits notifications over Bluetooth over BLE. Uh-huh. And I've written code that filters it out to both to just Slack and Twitter at this point. So you can't see if like my wife texts me or something, you won't see it here. Okay. Um, <laughs> He's like, where's the pie? Well, I, I tweeted. There I you just, go. I just added you. Wait for it. Okay. Wait for it. Beep, 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 beep. Wow, this That's is it. this is really fast. Yeah, so the way that it works. Yeah, that's cool. Mentioned so it by did, it, it, it did, it does say. Yeah, mentioned by Adafruit, and I said tweeting to Tanut Live. Da, da, da. Yay. All right. Now you can. Yeah. <laughs> so anybody who tweets at me in the next three minutes or something won't show up uh, because you can only update the screen so often. Um, oh. But. If you haven't updated in a while, it can actually be pretty quick because the moment you get a new notification, it can it can choose to update. So um, been pretty happy with that, and uh, I'm excited to see. I've got some stuff to get committed before everybody can play around with it, but expect to see a learn guide for it in the next couple of weeks. Okay, this is cool. All right, thank you, All right, thank Scott. you so much, Scott. And, and on behalf of many many people out there, thank you for all your smarts and community building and bringing so many people together with Circuit Python. Yeah, well, it's easy because the community is great. Yay. It's all the free pie. Thank you. Pie. Thank you for letting me spend all my time on that. Yeah. It's all good. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Next up, let's go into Cyber Brian. All right, this is Brian. Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. Brian. <laughs> so what did you do this week? Uh, this week, I went to Designer Con with my wife. Um, up on the screen is a picture of a Necroborg. This is... Uh, figure created by a group called the uh, Necronauts. Um, and they make uh, resin toys and all kinds of awesome stuff. This is, I think, their first release. So I picked up this in a resin kit, and I'm planning on starting painting it over the weekend. Um, looking forward to that. Um, me and my wife were there at Designer Con selling her toys. Um, it went well, met lots of cool people, sold lots of widgets. Um, looking forward to next year. Um, so check out Necronauts. If you Google Necronauts, it should come up, N-E-C-R-O-N-E-U-T-S, Necronaut Studios on Instagram, and then fennectoys.com is our store as well. That's cool, sir. These, they're already dead, so they can go out in space. They don't have to worry about, like, life support and oxygen and stuff because they're already so, dead. Yeah, like, I had a good time talking with this guy. It's This character is super cool, so... Um, it's uh, not actually a bad guy. He's just a scientist from some different yeah, this is a scientist. dimension or something. And he just happens to create cryptids in his wake because of time paradoxes and stuff. Yeah. It doesn't mean to hurt any people. It just kind of happens along the way. Yeah. Um, the guy writes really great copy on his boxes. He's got this another toy that's basically a fake VHS box with, uh, you know, about some movie that doesn't exist with Sigourney Weaver. And inside the box are... Uh, characters from the from the movie. So this guy's pretty creative. I I'm like gonna look into this because it that might be the way to solve space travel is if we're dead. Yeah. We don't have, yeah. To, worry about, we don't have to worry about food or air. We're just like we just have to be lo- yeah. zombies. Yep. Okay. All right. I'm gonna get on that. Very convenient. This. All right. Well thank you so much, Ryan. And uh thank you for being part of this Adafruit adventure. We're very thankful for your smarts and skills that you've been bringing to all the boards and more. Thanks for everything you've done for the community. Yay. Yay. All right. Okay. Next, Next up, up, Melissa. Melissa, what you got going on? Hi. Week? I got a pie also, but uh, that's besides the point. Um, I've been working on adding support for e-inks to the image reader library for Arduino. And so now it's really easy to draw an image on there. You don't have to have special code to go and decode the bitmap. It'll do it for you. Uh, so I have one here is... A little, uh, let me plug it in. I got Blinka on here, but. All right. We'll see. Change so this is going to redraw it, but after, yeah. when it gets to the loop, it'll just start flipping it like 90 degrees each time there. Okay. Um, cool. I have it updating like every 15 seconds, which yeah. works like fine it. for, sh- well, <laughs> It's short term. And, yeah, yeah, we actually did test. It's actually only after like 5,000 or 10,000 repeats that it'll actually get damaged. So that's why. But like, you exactly. know. Exactly. 
You have to warn people. Okay. You have to break some e ink eggs sometimes to make e ink omelets. Okay, good. <laughs> That's proof it's working. Yeah. Exactly. Cool. So, okay, cool. All right. Nice. Thank you so much, Melissa. And thank you for yeah. being part of the team this year. Oh, I loved it. I'm really happy about that. All right. He's the queen of displays. Yes. <laughs> okay, next up. Paint your dragon. Paint your dragon is painting triangles. Triangles, yeah. Hi. Paint, paint your uh, triangles. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this display, it's connected to a grand central board. Uh, you can see it's it's really dodgy here. I had to like scrape away some traces and like wire bare to the board. This display has a 16-bit wide parallel interface, which is like double the bandwidth of anything we have, like on Pi Portal, et cetera, right now. So that's kind of exciting because like double the throughput to the screen. Um, and then the flip side to that, uh, this display is 800 by 480 pixels, which is about five times the number of pixels as we have on a Pi Portal. So, you know, there's the old adage that, you know, code expands to fill all available memory. I think um, pixels expand to fill all available bandwidths. Yes. Yeah. But uh, anyway, we've got lots of them and they are responding very quickly. And For not having, you know, a, a VRAM buffer, like I know it's just triangles, but that's pretty fast. Yeah, it's you know? surprising. I think uh, we can get in the ballpark of uh, up to 30 frames for full screen stuff. I, I don't think like in reality you would, that's, you know, a, a on paper throughput kind of thing. But um, yeah, I mean, it's not, the interface, the, the connection isn't holding us back a lot, which is really nice. So yeah. if you make something using one of these insane high res displays, uh, we, we have the throughput for it. And Eric Ursel asks, is it an ST7789? What's the chipset? Uh, it is a, what is it, NT? Three five five one zero. Yeah, yeah, it's a new one we haven't worked with before. It's so. interesting. This is the only. This is the first and only screen I've been able to find that's eight hundred by four eighty, four inches diagonal, because not like five or or eight or seven inch, and yeah. also has a sixteen bit parallel interface instead of like a TTL RGB interface. This is a very you know, it's a common display in a sense, but it's also kind of a, a new display. I haven't seen that, but I was like, oh, finally we can make something that can address 800 by 40 pixels, which is, which you can tell is, is pretty sweet. We can, we could probably do some nice user interfaces on it. Yeah, I think so. And you, you can kind of see that there is a touch, touch interface on this. There's a layer on there, but I'm not using it right now just because it's, it's so delicate. I just don't want to touch it. <laughs> yeah, I think, and I mean, this was just proof of concept. We'll design, yeah. you know, a Pi Portal that uses this gigantic screen. And then of course yeah. that'll have the resistive touch screen support. The the, the upcoming one is a larger one. It's called Titano. You would think so a new one now. Now we need something even bigger than the word. Yeah, I don't Titano. know. Beast mode. Yeah. Okay, beast oh. mode's the name. Okay. <laughs> all right, anything else you want to show off? Uh, that's that's all I got for now. Okay, well that's that's a great coming soon preview. Great work with those triangles. I'm excited. Pixels. Really yeah, neat. you did great. This is a, looks amazing. Oh, and then there was one last question. Uh, right now, this is an Arduino. Yep, this is an Arduino yeah. right now. Yeah. But we're looking to add support in Circuit Python. It won't be as fast, probably. Maybe we'll see. All right. Okay. Thank you, Philby, and thank you for all of your smarts and work and all the delightful pixels that you've. Uh, brought to the world this year. Best pixels come from Paint Your Dragon, no yeah. question. Well, Seriously. Thank, thank you for putting up with me week after week. <laughs> no, I mean, like you keep you keep, keep making throwing, pixels. You keep making pixels. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not just any pixels, but the right pixels. pixels. Okay. Next up, we're gonna go to Ranjeeb. Hey, Ranjeeb, Ranjeeb, Ranjeeb and Ranjeeb your has reef pie. The reef pie, yeah. Well, how's your reef going? All right, we can see it. We can we hear, hear you. you, but that's okay. Because it looks great. We could probably I see some narrate it for you since this we is can't like a reef. You. So this is all controlled by Raspberry Pi. Well, it was. it was. It is. Wait, is that? <laughs> okay. Um, this is all so, controlled by Raspberry Pi. Yeah, it's got the Raspberry Pi. This is a reef pie. You can tell this is reef pie. Ooh, all the connections in a box. Yeah. Okay. And, and you had done a learn Power, guide yeah. on this before. Power um, packs. On learn.adafruit.com. And look, there's like a UV light for the reef or some sort of uh, like a daylight lamp. Kind of interesting. Yeah, it might be that. And there's like a pump. Need a couple pumps. Yeah. Yeah, a couple pump pumps there. maybe. There's a peristaltic pump. 
and then uh, looks. It doesn't look like it has any fish in it or jellyfish or anything yet, but maybe soon it'll have some. Yeah. Aquatic creatures right now. All right. It looks, looks just like you're just cut out. Oh no, you're back. You're back. Okay. Oh, temperature sensing. Temperature sensor. They okay, got the. This DS. might be. This might be setting it up for all the little maybe. critters to live inside. It's got the. Maybe it's, it has to. Yeah, we've got the DS eighteen B twenty. Okay. Going on the there. Plugging in the pump is what maybe. Okay. So and then that looks like a pH sensor or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pH sensor. Maybe a new generation using the 4A with a yeah. new custom hat. Oh, I think he just he's on the, lost signal. He's on the on the reef. to the ocean planet. Okay. So we'll take you off the screen now. Well, email sportedatafruit.com and we will Send you a sticker. Could go awesome on your pump here. or something. Okay, next up, we're gonna go to Spacey and Spacey screen. Hey, Spacey. Hey, can you uh, can you hear me all good? Yeah. I can hear you. Cool. And you can see your screen. Okay, so um, I've been doing like a bunch of experimenting lately with like uh, code-free like development and stuff. Um, and I was playing around with Ableton the other day, and I was like, huh. You have like these columns which are different devices and then these rows which are like different scenes why hasn't anybody done this with like hardware yet or like electronics mm -hmm. uh, so i was like playing around and i built this little proof of concept thing it only currently works with uh neopixels and like this kind of middleware thing that i built um but let's pray to the live demo gods and see if this works. So I've got like a like a simulator kind of thing. And this is like a, a test sketch that I built where you have like uh, four different buttons connected and then three different sets of NeoPixels. And if I like trigger the idle one, you have like this indicator thing starts flashing. And then like if I click the charging button, like some like weapon barrel starts like sucking in energy kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, and then like when it's charged, it like does that. And then when you release it, it just shoots a bunch of rainbows. Um, and it will convert all of that to Arduino code, and I'm written like a header, and then you just copy and paste that and upload it. Hmm. And just, you know. That's neat, and I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of folks struggle with the the code side of interacting um, with lots of music projects. So this would be cool if they would be if they could kind of generate that code. With yeah, and then you just click on each of these, and you just change like yeah the like timing and scaling of all the colors, and it will just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is super cool because you know a lot of folks just want the music and the beat to go together, and so you know with, with the NeoPixels. Yeah. Um, this is a nice. It's like a recipe maker. Like here you go, and then you can just like bake it and send it off. This is cool. Good work. Yeah. Well, if you want a sticker, email supportedatafruit.com. You can put it on the computer or something. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, thanks for showing this off. This is really cool. If you want us to write about this when you're ready to, yep. uh, just email PT at Adafruit. Yep. Com, and I'll do a blog post about it. And if there's stuff for people to try out. Cool. Um, yeah, this is really cool. Good work. All right. Well, good work, Spacey. Thank you for coming yeah. by. All right. Okay, Lady Ada. That's it. That's our show for this week. I know. Um, 7.30 PM. Every single week we do this. Uh, we even did it on, I'm calling this Thank You Eve, because that's the code on the, the show that we're going to do in just a few minutes, Ask an Engineer. But um, thanks for making an Adafruit where all these folks can come together. Thanks for being with me on this journey. Yeah. I, it's been fun. It's been 15 years. Yeah, we've been hanging out doing this for almost, a while. Almost 15 years. Yeah. So thank you, everybody. We'll see everyone on Ask an Engineer in just a few minutes. Oh, and one last thing. ReefBuy, who was on there, uh, mentioned that ReefBuy is going to update the guides on learn.adafruit.com with all these new um, sensors and more. It's actually so. one of our most popular guides. This is where a lot of people like building uh, ReefBuy's. It is. All right. Okay. Thank all you, right. everybody. Have we'll a see. wonderful Thanksgiving. We'll see some of you in about seven, eight minutes. Yep. For Ask Engineer and everybody else, have a safe and wonderful holiday. Bye, everybody. Bye.